fun. Um, so we are going to show you where we have some friends coming over and I'm making dinner. So I'm just kind of going to show you how um, I make this. This is one of my favorite meals to both eat and make. Um, we're going to have, it's a, like a crispy onion chicken with some potatoes and string beans. And I'm going to go through all that with you guys, show you how I make it, and then hopefully it'll come out great finished product. I'm only here to help out. Um, <laughs> I've got any more behind the camera, but whenever she needs help, I'm going to step in and then help her out. So if you guys don't see me, that's why I'm manning the camera. <laughs> this is her time to shine. Alright, let's get ready for this. He's my sous chef. Or yes. the kitchen assistant. Sushi so chef might be a little strong. <laughs> Alright, but let's get this started. Right. So, um, I've already started a few things. I've cleaned the chick all the fat off the chicken and I've cracked um, a few eggs into a flat um, Tupperware container to do because later we're gonna coat the chicken in the um, crispy onions, a little bit of flour and the eggs to make it stick, um, and put it in the oven. So we're gonna have to boil the potatoes for about 10 minutes, so I also have that going, but the potatoes aren't in it yet. Uh, the oven is preheated to 425, which is more important for the potatoes. The chicken, I usually be do between 350 and 400. It really just depends. I just keep a really close eye on it and see when the chicken is done. Um, but otherwise, I don't have like a very specific temperature or amount of time for it. Um, so you gotta get yourself baking sheet. I put parchment paper on it because then the chicken is less likely to stick. Um, and you don't end up eating a piece of tinfoil or anything. <laughs> so let's start. So for the crispy onions, typically I actually go with the French's onions, but I was unable to find them in the store the other day. But I've used these before, so I know they're good and it tastes um, very similar. They're just much smaller, so having them coat the chicken is a little bit more difficult. Um, but I get these. I actually found them in the produce section, which I was surprised. I was looking around the store for an embarrassing long, embarrassingly long amount of time to find them. Um, because I guess people use them as a salad topping, but I think it's like too much. It's a very strong um, scent. So also, what's important is I like that to get them in a bag um, for that seals because I like to crush them a little bit. Because sometimes when they're a little bit too big, it like is a uh, very long pieces on the chicken it um, breaks apart and then they, the coating comes off. But if they're finer, it stays, especially when you cut the chicken when you eat it. You're gonna pour them onto um, like a plate or another container like this if you have it, so you can more easily coat the chicken. So I, I usually start with a small amount so I can always add as I go and I don't wanna waste any. So I also mix this in with a little bit of flour. Um, I like to have the onions and the flour kind of already put together. This just helps coat the chicken, have it stick. Um, a little bit of flour just makes it so none of the egg gets kind of running off of the chicken. So it gets a little bit messy um, with the chicken, the eggs, and the little onion flour mixture that we have. So I like to wear gloves just because it makes it less of a cleanup for me. I also don't really like touching raw chicken. I don't know. Just a little bit more. Um, Not yet, guys. All right. So I leave the chicken in strips. I buy the tenderloins. You can do it with breast also. Tenderloins are just thinner, um, so they actually get more of the seasoning on it. I will put both sides in a little egg wash here. Make sure it's not too runny when you lift it because then it's just going to have more of a mess and stick more in the, um, on the pan. So then I coat it with my onion mixture. It's okay if a lot of it's going to fall off and not stick. I always go um, after I put it on the baking sheet, I go over it again after and add some more so everything is evenly seasoned. Also, you get more out of your onions, which is one of the many reasons I like to crush them up and make sure they're finer. I have a kitchen assistant 
Yeah, but you can barely see me because technically it's for her height. So it, <laughs> it's gonna be like, like those cartoons that you never show their faces, like the people. Yes, and it's a, a mystery how I got it all done with all these hands. <laughs> Up and out as much as I can. <laughs> Sometimes I used to, when I first started cooking um, this chicken or when I didn't have a lot of space, I would do this part in a Ziploc bag and then you just kind of throw the pieces of the chicken in and shake it around like a shake and bake kind of style. That works um, pretty well too, except sometimes it's just easier because now I have the counter space. So what are you doing now? I'm finishing the chicken. Um, seasoning and coating it and lining it on the baking sheet and I realize it's the perfect size sheet for this amount of chicken so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> so for this um, I actually did three eggs this time but like I said it's not really a matter of how many you do as long as you have enough because you want to be able to make sure every chicken uh, piece of chicken is uh, well coated. Um, I did three just because it's a decent amount of chicken and I didn't want to run out and have to crack another egg like, in the middle of this. So it's better to have too much than run out. So now see I'm using the little extra that we have left just to coat if I see any spots that are kind of blank or um, well, bare on the chicken just to make sure that all of them have a lot of flavor and seasoning. Now it's tongue times. What I do, I'm not going to do it this time just because I'm making potatoes which are going to have the similar seasoning on it. I will put like a little bit of garlic powder um, or some extra salt and pepper or even buy the flavor, different flavoring um, with the onion for the chicken. But I'm not going to put the chicken in the oven just yet. I'm going to do it closer when I'm putting the potatoes in because they still have to boil for a little bit. Okay, so now that the water is boiled, can you set a timer for me for 10 minutes? I'll get the little baby potatoes. Is that 10 minutes? Yes. Which is like 10 hours? Yes. And we're gonna boil them for about no. 10 minutes. Did y'all get this kind of from Big Lots? No. We got ours from Big Lots, so they had something like this. Okay. I think that would be something like this. I need to buy this um, quiet on set. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna leave them boiling for 10 minutes. You set the timer, right? Yeah. I like how I told them we're recording, and now he's like, oh, you're recording. Bro, it completely so Um, The potatoes, they're boiling for 10 minutes because you want them a little soft because we're going to kind of like smush them down before putting them on the baking sheet. But you don't want them too soft that the skin is falling off. Yes, you go. Know, you can see it. I'm only gonna use guys. That's, that's that's what she says. So like. We got some pound cake too, slices. Um, hopefully they're good. I've never tried these ones from Harris Teeter. Um, hopefully Louis didn't come in disappoint. Again, honestly, I don't even know if you guys can see my face. I'm trying to like, bend down. I don't want to. Um, we'll see. They're gonna be able to see your face and you're gonna be able to see your face. I know, right? Um. Now we're gonna put them all on the baking sheet with some parchment paper. Olive oil on them. 
Just a little bit? Yeah, just so enough so that the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the, like, seasonings can stick. Okay. Now on the potatoes, you're gonna put salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. Final dinner. This is how it should look. This Looks way. all fancy. I joke that this is like a family gathering slash like holiday meal. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Look but at that. It's really yummy. All right. Well, this is my first time actually air frying the string beans, so I hope they they came out as good. I usually bake them, but mm -hmm. you know, hoping for the best. All right. all right, guys. I didn't do anything in this video. Um, just to help. Little. Yeah, just help out a little bit. Um, this is gonna be some good food. Um, but you know, we always gotta end it. My name is Ivan. And I'm Lucy. Glad you know your name. See ya. Bye. Some food. Is that y'all's outro? Yeah. Uh -huh.